Alright y'all, this video is going to be about the Associated Press. Now the Associated Press announced last month it would capitalize the word black when used to describe racial, ethnic, or cultural topics. Besides this week that white will not receive the same treatment partially because the news gathering service was capitalizing in white because it subtly legitimized white supremacy beliefs. Um, AP style will continue to lowercase term white in racial, ethnic, and cultural senses. AP Vice President and Editor at Large Stanley John Twisky wrote. Now, before I even go any farther, okay, um, I haven't even read this, okay, I'm just going through this with y'all. But this is not about George Floyd no more, okay? It's not even about black people no more or white people, okay? This is just about them furthering their agenda and them furthering their hate on both sides okay they're trying to make it where black people hit white people white people hit black people that's all they're trying to do and it's a simple test that they're trying to do and the sad part is people are falling for it okay so if black lives really do matter okay to these groups that are out there protesting this why aren't they in chicago why aren't they in new york city okay detroit and the ones that are out there why aren't they protesting things that they need to be protesting? Okay. Let's just look at Chicago. Prime example, okay. Y'all would rather protest an officer involved shooting where the officer was justified, or you would rather, you know, go out there and throw objects at the officer or assault the officers, okay? But when it comes to black people getting shot, y'all aren't there. Like, okay, last night, 14 people. At a church funeral, I got shot. Where it's Black Lives Matter. Nowhere to be found. Three-year-old last night, I believe it was. He got shot. Nowhere to be found. Okay, Monday, 20 people got shot. Over the weekend, this is every weekend, y'all have 40, 60, 50, 70, 80, 90, 100 people shot. Okay, sometimes half or over half of those are kids. Um, New York City, the one-year-old girl, her father was shot, or six-year-old girl, her father was shot and killed. New York City, a one-year-old was shot and killed. Um, a teenager was jumped by a group of teenagers for shoes and a phone. Where does Black Lives Matter for all them? You know, if Black Lives Matter, y'all should be out there protesting that also. Because there you got black people killing black people. But it's like nobody wants to talk about that. Let's just talk about um, what the cops do. Okay. Um, now the AP typical assessed the style standard that is used in newsrooms throughout the country, so the decision will be will impact hundreds of pro publications. Uh, Dawinsky wrote, "There was clear desire and reason to capitalize black, notably because people who are black have strong historical and cultural commonalities, even if they are from different parts of the world." Uh, the AP doesn't feel there is similar support when it comes to capitalizing the word white. White people generally do not share the same history and culture or the experience of being discriminated against because of skin color. In addition, we are a global news organization, and in much of the world, there is considerable disagreement and mobility and confusion about whose the term includes. Okay. Um, again, there are racism on both sides, okay? Black people get discriminated against, white people get discriminated against. All y'all are trying to do is get us against each other that's all it is y'all are trying to get white people hate black people black people hate white people that's all it is and the media plays a huge part in that okay now obviously we can't go around blaming the media because it's up to us as citizens and the states and the cities and counties where we live to change that they were the only people that can do it uh, now we agree that white people's skin color plays into systematic inequalities and injustice we want our journalism to robustly explore those problems, Dunwinski added. But capitalizing the term white as in done by white supremacists risks subtly covering, covering legitimacy to such beliefs. Um, early this month, Fox News announced it would capitalize black when used an objective to describe people, a community, or culture after consulting with its diversity team and researching the history of language, culture, and customs. However, colors that are commonly described a race such as white and brown will also be capitalized by Fox News when used as adjectives consigning them with the recommendation by the National Association of Black Journalists. Or at least they're capitalizing all of it. 
you know, that's how it should be. Just capitalize all of it, okay? Then you don't have to worry about white supremacy or black power or whatever the case might be, okay? You know, the whole thing is, like I said, it's just stupid. Um, Y'all trying to take away episodes of Golden Girls that have nothing to do with anything about racism. Black Lives Matter is not where they should be. You know, they're out there assaulting police officers or protesting where they don't need to be protesting, riding in the streets when that's not going to solve anything. You know, you have news doing this, TV shows taking TV shows off, movies taking movies off, people getting offended for, you know, you, like, walking in on the same street as them. I mean, it's ridiculous. It really is. You know, it's almost so ridiculous that it's not even real. You know, I, I really, I don't even know what else to say. But with that being said, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As always, thank y'all for watching. As always, let me know. And as always, y'all be safe out there.